Welcome back, everyone, to Open Line. Our political analyst, Pat Nolan, is here. We're talking all manner of politics, so all kinds of stuff and, and lots of calls. I want to go to Taylor. Taylor is calling in. Hi, Ben. Uh, Pat, nice to have this subject and talk with you. I appreciate it. Sure. Um, I've been very in tune with the legislature for many years because I at one time worked for an administration and had to do some work with the legislature. Um, not, not heavy, close work, but enough to uh, keep an eye on it. And I was always quite surprised by members of both parties uh, when shady things were going on a lot of really good, honest men kept quiet about it. And and I'm not going to get into any incidences, but uh, I, I, I just know that there were things that uh, uh, went on under several uh, administrations that um, I, I, I knew these members, and some of them had even whispered things to me at the time. And I thought, my goodness, uh, this needs to be known. But then, uh, enough about that. Um, I want to say that uh, I um, am concerned about this education thing. Uh, I'm afraid uh, the um, uh, teachers' union and the media is uh, so out to get charter schools that it's not going to go through, and I think charter schools can be a real difference if we get it right, and uh, it can teach. Uh, people don't understand that a charter school is a public school, it is. and uh, it's uh, All right. uh, g g gotten a bad reputation. And Pat, I'd like to correct you on one thing I've heard you say before uh, about the succession of governors. Mm -hmm. We feel done got the law passed. He, he was the last governor to serve one term. He got the law passed. No, Ray Blanton that, was. That there could be two terms, yeah. but not for himself. Uh, and then the next one was Ray Blanton. And Ray Blanton, instead of getting elected to a second term, went to prison as far as I know. So uh, that is uh, the first one was not reelected. Uh, well, so, uh, you, you can correct me if I'm wrong on well, that. But what, that's, what, what changed that's about fine. that is that the, the, right, con here. the Constitution was changed. Uh, Governor Blanton, Governor, Governor Dunn could not change that by himself. It took a, a, a constitutional amendment. And in those days, it had to be changed. Well, it wasn't changed the way we changed the Constitution now. They, they had to have a convention and do it that way. But, but you're, you're, technically, Governor Blanton could have run for a second term. I think he probably took a one look at his situation. And this was before he actually was in, under indictment or anything, but decided not to seek a second term. But all the governors since that time who have sought a second term have been reelected and reelected easily. Taylor, I learned a lot about Taylor in that call. He used to work in the legislature, yeah. I believe, and he said he would hear, he was disappointed good people would stay silent when bad things were happening. So that's interesting. Um, well, I'll, I'll give one example a little bit to the contrary of that. Some of the, one of the, one of the major uh, scandals that happened, Randy McNally at that time was in the legislature. He's a lieutenant governor now, but he was serving in the legislature at the time. He actually wore a wire during the investigation to let lawmakers who, hey, who he knew say things that wound up putting them in, in prison. So so at least in that case, he didn't just whisper to somebody about it. He did something about it, and people went to jail about it. And if he hadn't done that, that might not have happened. Now, I think he's probably right. There are a lot of people who don't want to rock the boat. I know that's wrong, but I'm not going to speak out about it. And that's, that's probably too bad, but I'm not sure all of us wouldn't, in some cases, be tempted to do the same thing of, let's, let's, let, I mean, I'm not going to get involved in that. Right. I'm not going to do it either, but I'm not going to go out and, and tattletale about it. And I forget that. So he wore a wire. You're talking about Lieutenant Governor, yes. current Lieutenant Governor, yes. Randy McNally, wore a wire yes. for federal investigators yes. and got he fellow uh, lawmakers on he tape. Did. What he did made a big difference in some of those cases, yes. Wow. Yeah, well, that is interesting. Um, I can't remember if it was Tennessee Walls or if it was the other one that happened. Right. All right. Very interesting. Um, Saeed, I believe. Is that right? Saeed? Yeah, this is me. All right. Go right ahead. Hey, uh, I wanted to ask about the 
inner city schools, specifically the yeah, the, yes. He's, he's you might need to turn down your your TV, turn down your TV, and then just ask your question because there's a bit of a delay. Yeah. Uh, the maintenance, the staffing, uh, a lot of concerns. I feel like uh, the students are middle school and all just all the grade school level. I feel like they're getting neglected to and to an extent. Uh, and the only thing that is it's approached with is like more policing. So I, I wanted to get that uh, message out there that there needs to be something done uh, alternatively to help the uh, younger students you're talking about metro uh, schools, there. Saeed? Metro schools? Yeah, metro schools. And yeah. you feel like, um, you sound like you're talking from first-hand knowledge that there's some concerns you have. Um, yeah, but I mean, just throughout the years, nothing specifically that I wanted to bring up, no specific incident, just uh, I know that there's maintenance problems, and I know that there's students that neglected socially, educationally. Right. All right, Saeed, um, thank you. Thank yeah. you. All right, we have to take a break, Pat. I don't know. Uh, let's you, you comment on that if you want when we come back. All right, we have to take a break, and we'll be right back.